Absolutely, I, I love this film. I'm, uh, of course, I didn't, you know, because I'm, my part, I shot all my part with uh, Jeffrey Rush, uh, and then I went home, you know. So I really didn't know. I'd read the script, of course, but I was a little unprepared for just um, what an overwhelmingly uh, exhilarating film it is. It's, it's wonderful. It's a typical trail of, um, of tragedy or tri tri triumph over tragedy, isn't it? It really is. I mean, it, I think David's story is particularly because we know that it's a true story and that you know now life has continued to go on from in the most extraordinary way but it's a it gives us all hope doesn't it you know if, if David could survive and come back and have a fantastic career after all he went through then then you know all of us perhaps have a little bit of hope somewhere it's amazing just the frame very slightly um, now she, G Gillian is um, an astrologer, and she's a woman who didn't, she, she didn't need, um, she wasn't looking for, for a David, she wasn't looking for some, she had a terrific life, she had, um, she had a, a chap in the wings, as you might say, she had an ex-husband who she got on fine with, she had grown children, and a fabulous career, she was very successful as an astrologer. She travelled a lot, her life was great, and she literally fell in love at a point where she absolutely wasn't looking for it and never thought it would happen in that way. Sorry? Oh, absolutely. And I know tonight's benefit being for music therapy. I mean, it's absolutely a therapeutic effect on people, yes. And I think what was so terrifying for David Helfgott was that he was denied access to a piano for so long while he was institutionalized. And that must have been a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Yes. Well, of course, I didn't know Peter. Um, I do know that different children from the same family can have a different view of somebody. And I know that I was told by the director that when David himself saw the film, he said, Daddy wasn't that nice. So this is, this according to David was a nicer version of his father than his father. Um, one of his sisters, I believe, disagrees, but that, that happens in families, you know. This is, this is David's story, so I guess that's... I heard. I'd love to have been there. Yes. 
Oh, he's been, he's, he plays, he, all the music you hear played in the film is David, the real David. <laughs> Are you talking about David's character? Well, it's it's David, you know. I mean, it's um, Jeffrey Rush and Noah Taylor, and the little boy who plays him at the beginning. Um, but Jeffrey and Noah, particularly, they they found the essence of David and the soul of David, and I think David's very pleased with their portrayal of him. Well, enjoy the film, and thank you very much for speaking. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lynn. Welcome to ideal, ideal circumstances. Enjoy the evening. Very kind of you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, thank you for joining me, Armin. Now, this is a very moving film, isn't it? Yes. Should I take it? No, I'll, I'll, I'll just hold that out. Sure. Okay. Yeah. You just talk to me, and um, I'll be looking at you and having, having a quick look through here as well. It's a very moving film. Oh, yes, I think so. It's a very touching, moving film, and a very hard film, too. Now, you play uh, quite, a, quite a difficult character in the film, don't you? Tell me a bit about the role of Peter. He's not really a mean person, you know, he's a victim of the Holocaust. So he taught his son three things, keep the family together, be strong to survive, and the music is the meaning of your life. So when the son is going to leave the family, he's, um, he's upset and he beats him. But I think uh, for some reason it's much more understandable. Underneath you can feel his tears and his love. He's a victim of love. I think so because I trust Scott Hicks and uh, 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 Stardy because they are very, very uh, reliable researchers. So I think it's perfect. Uh, he is not alive anymore, so I couldn't talk to him. And David says yes, his, uh, his sister says no, it was different. So I don't know really. But you know, if he would be likable. There wouldn't be in film, it's not a documentary. You can't make 70 years squeeze in two hours. So you have to, to, to simplify things. Yeah, he was, uh, that's what uh, Scott Hicks told me. In the very beginning he said, oh, it's brilliant. In the last month that's brilliant. So, and the most important thing, he's going to make a second career, which is wonderful. Oh 